Idle scan is an advanced scan method that allows for a truly blind TCP port scan of the target. Truly blind TCP port scan means no packets are sent to the target from your real IP address. Instead, a unique side channel attack exploits predictable IP fragmentation ID sequence generation on the zombie host to gather information about the open ports on the target. IDS systems will display the scan as coming from the zombie machine you specify. The idle scan is based on the following three facts. As you already know, one way to determine whether a TCP port is open is to send a SYN packet to the port. The target machine will respond with a SYNAC packet if the port is open and RIST if the port is closed. A machine that receives an unexpected SYNAC packet will respond with a RIST. An unexpected RIST will be ignored. Every IP packet on the Internet has a fragment identification number, IPID. Since many operating systems simply increment this number for each packet they send, probing for the IPID can tell an attacker how many packets have been sent since the last probe. So first, let's see what happens in an idle scan if the target port is open. The first step is to probe the IPID of the zombie system. The attacker sends a SYNAC to the zombie. Since the zombie does not expect the packet, it sends back a wrist with an IPID. The second step is to forge a SYN packet from the zombie to the target system. The target sends a SYNAC in response to the SYN that appears to come from the zombie. Since the zombie does not expect the packet, it sends back a wrist, and so it increments its IP ID in the process. Third step is to probe the zombie's IP ID again. The attacker sends a SYNAC to the zombie again. The wrist packet of the zombie has an IP ID, which is increased by two since the first step, so the port is open. Now let's see what happens in an idle scan if the target port is closed. The first step is to probe the IP ID of the zombie system. The attacker sends a SYNAC to the zombie. Since the zombie does not expect the packet, it sends back a wrist with an IP ID. The second step is to forge a SYN packet from the zombie to the target system. The target sends a wrist because the port is closed in response to the SYN that appears to come from the zombie. The zombie ignores the unexpected wrist, so its IP ID does not change. Third step is to probe the zombie's IP ID again. The attacker sends a SYNAC to the zombie again. The wrist packet of the zombie has an IP ID which is increased by only one since the first step, so the port is not open. You follow? So then here's the last one. Let's see what happens in an idle scan if the target port is filtered. The first step is to probe the IP ID of the zombie system. The attacker sends a SYNAC to the zombie. Since the zombie does not expect the packet, it sends back a wrist with an IP ID. The second step is to forge a SYN packet from the zombie to the target system. The target, filtering its port, ignores the SYN that appears to come from the zombie. The zombie is unaware that anything happened, so its IP ID remains the same. Third step is to probe the zombie's IP ID again. The attacker sends a SYNAC to the zombie again. The wrist packet of the zombie has an IP ID, which is increased by only one since the first step. So, the port is not open. So, from the attacker's point of view, the filtered port is indistinguishable from a closed port. Do you see why? In both cases, the IP ID is increased by only one. So, let's have an idle scan. To be able to perform an idle scan, we first need to have a zombie computer on the network which has incremental IPID sequencing. Hopefully we have an Nmap script to help us find a computer appropriate to become a zombie. I know the name of the script starts with IPID and put a star now. Here's the script, ipidseq.nse. To use the script, type Nmap script ipidseq. And now our IP block, 172.16.99.0 slash 24. To keep it simple, let's scan just the top two ports. And here are the results. So let's analyze them. 
99.1 is my host system. It's a Mac, and as you see, IP ID is randomized. 99.2 is the gateway of my virtual LAN, and yes, it has incremental ID sequencing. It can be used as a zombie system. Could I? 99.139 is a Linux system. Its IP ID sequence is all zero. 99.206 is our target, Metasploitable. 99.222 is our Kali machine. Its IP ID sequence is incremental, so it's actually another zombie candidate, but it's already the attacker itself, so it doesn't make sense to use it as a zombie. But <laughs> I understand you. Yes, it might be fun. But right now, uh, we're going to use 99.2 as the zombie. So here's the Nmap idle scan query. S uppercase I to idle scan. Now put the IP address of the zombie. I want to use my host machine first, which has a randomized IP ID sequence. Not necessarily, but I think it's a good habit. PN and N target systems IP. So as you see, Nmap says the zombie's IP ID sequence class is randomized. So we should find another system. So what do you think about using a zombie system with an all zeros IP ID sequence class? Hmm? As you see again, it's just not suitable to be a zombie. Now is the time to use the system which has an incremental IP ID sequence class. So again, to keep it quick and simple, I'll just scan the top three ports. And yes, scan is completed successfully. To compare the results, I'd like to have a SYN scan in another terminal screen with the same conditions. Ports 23 and 80 are open in both scans. According to SYN scan, port 443 is closed. Now we know that the idle scan cannot distinguish the closed port from the filtered port. It flagged port 443 as closed or filtered. So let's run the last query with reason option again. As you see, ports 23 and 80 are flagged as open because IP ID has changed each time. Since the IP ID has not changed for port 443, it's flagged as closed or filtered. 